Day 556. I think somebody needs a coffee. Or just two weeks in a dark room and a comfortable bed. I wasn't ready to wake up. But here we are. I stole accidentally a spoon. Oh, that's a nice spoon. <laughs> yeah. You see? It's probably like something antique. That looks like Italian breakfast. Mamma mia, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, guys. Welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. Good morning, Bumblebee. Good morning, Bumblebee. We're here in the town of Pisa in Italy, and we're just having some bread and cheese and mortadella. It's basically like a fancy ham and cheese sandwich. But today, we're heading to a place where we can get the fanciest ham and cheese sandwich in like the whole world because we are heading to the town of Parma. So let me show you guys the route for today. So we are here and today we are taking this road up to the city of Parma before continuing cross country further north towards Lago di Garda, Lake Garda. So after we've stocked up on Parma ham and Parmesan cheese, we're heading further north to Lake Garda and the mountains. So it will be a really nice ride today. Google Maps says it will take us about four hours. It's already nine o'clock, so better hit the road, let's go. So those of you who have been watching recently, you'll know that Bumblebee's battery is not doing great. We're about to try it out for the first time this morning, but I think it's unlikely to work. Okay, please, 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 neutral. Please. Come on, come on. Yes. Power. Oh, I'm so glad the bumblebee started. I'm so glad. I'm even gladder. <laughs> <laughs> even gladder. <laughs> you don't say that, hey? I don't know. I, I've never tried. Okay. But hey, you just did. And uh, there you go. There we go. I'm so happy. I'm happier. Oh, that's already a word. So we're just going to stop at reception and pay. Just going to put it in neutral. I am not turning off the engine. Buongiorno. Ciao, ciao. This one. Oh, very, very good. Very good. The sun is shining today. It's beautiful. Bellissimo. Two people. Two people. One tent. Yes. One night. Okay. Perfecto. Perfecto. Grazie. Para carta. Yes. Oh, passport. Oh, this is useful. Perfect. <laughs> I forgot. That's us. Okay, ciao, ciao. Parma? Parma, yes, yes, yes. For, for some uh, Parmesan. Ciao. Ciao. Ooh, look at this mountains ahead. Yeah, I think that's where we're going to be heading. Oh, so nice. Well, fingers crossed that the weather will be fine actually for us crossing the mountains because we spoke to some locals and they said in two days there is rain coming and then it's over yeah and we are still quite far from crossing the alps over to austria and then over to germany yeah so by the time we get there could be like very very bad weather <sighs> so yeah we could be in for a bit of a crazy ride over the mountains Okay. So I think we have to press the red button. This one here? Yeah. Or that one? Ooh. Oh. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Press button. Yeah, this one. Maybe we don't have to. I don't know. And then it says take your ticket. Maybe we don't have to. Okay, then let's just go. Should we just go? I guess so. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's really complicated here with the Autostrasse in Italy because we don't really uh, get it. Sometimes we get a ticket and some, sometimes we don't. <laughs> and now we actually didn't get a ticket. Anyway, let's see on the way out, hey? If they want a ticket for us or not. Yeah.
it's so cold it's like 15 degrees but i'm freezing so i will put all my clothes on so today's office is the petrol station ip <laughs> So we are using now this um, Osmo action camera from DJI but we didn't save our videos from the carts for like two days so our cart is full and now this is what we're doing and there's a duck Hello! Okay, moment of truth Does Bumblebee turn on after the break? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Bumblebee! Doing great today, really proud. Cool, there's somebody actually. Yeah, that's why I went to this one because it had good. like a, a symbol of a person. Ciao. Ciao. Hello. I didn't I didn't get any here. Oh so good that the person is here. Look he has a TV inside. Yeah. Oh oh, oh go a little bit further. He wants to see the um Okay. Oh 20 euro. It's expensive. Oh my god. Gracias. Wow. 20 euro, hey? 20 euro! No more autostrada! <laughs> so we have to eat rice for dinner. <laughs> so we're just coming into the outskirts of Parma. And most people know Parma because of Parma ham. But I didn't actually realize that Parmesan cheese is also from Parma. So Parmesan, or in Italian Parmigiano, just means something that is from Parma. And it's really interesting because the full name of Parmesan is Parmigiano Reggiano and that is because next to the city of Parma is the city of Regia and so they call the cheese sort of both names from both of those towns so Parmigiano Reggiano Parma and Regia. So not only is this a good place to get some ham but it's also a good place to get some cheese. Traveling through Italy is like an eye opener you know <laughs> yeah exactly it's only when you like ride through that you realize that bolognese is from bologna and parmesan is from parma but i'm a little bit disappointed because i really love lasagna but i it... didn't see a place lasagna no no i haven't seen a place called lasagna but no. it probably <laughs> is a place we just haven't gone through it. When we were in Rome, the Roman speciality is carbonara. So we kind of had to have carbonara. And we did. And we did. It was nice. But yeah, you haven't yet had a lasagna here. No, I haven't had a lasagna yet. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get you a lasagna before you leave Italy. Yes. It says it's pedestrian only here. Yeah. Okay. And the shop is supposed to be a bit further down there. Oh no. Yeah. We've rooted to a <laughs> specific like prosciutto speciality shop. How far is it? Is it far or? It's 400 feet. So How probably. Much is 400 feet. No idea. Just put the bike here for now. Okay. Just out the way of the bicycles and stuff. Okay. Please bring me back something nice. I will look for the best prosciutto, the best parmesan they have. So the shop is only literally whew, down this road and on the left. Here it is, la prosciutteria, the place where they make prosciutto. Whoa, look at this place. <sighs> ciao, ciao. Whoa, look at all this cheese. Parmigiano Reggiano. Tons more cheese. 
have a look at these guys up here prosciutto di parma wow look at that <laughs> that is a whole lot of meat up there and you've got like salami big 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 loads of meat here wow look at this one yeah this is the place to get some really good prosciutto and some really good parmesan so i think here it says 30 months so i think it's like aged 30 months it's gonna be pretty potent i reckon Ooh, i reckon that's good ciao uh, centigram prosciutto di parma yes you prefer uh, in vacuum pack or in the paper for today oh it, it, for today in the paper thank you you're cutting d directly from here over 30 months and uh, over 24 months wow wow that's crazy he's just cutting it straight off beautiful Th okay. This one, this one, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Here we go. It's like L a whole bag. Lunch is served. So, we've got ourselves 100 grams of the finest prosciutto di Parma. Uh huh. You know, you order it and he just slices it from like this massive chunk of leg was it scary <sighs> that whole shop was a bit like yeah there was a lot of hanging meat around there like mm -hmm. yeah 30 mesi 30 months aged parmigiano reggiano <laughs> can you actually eat this on bread or is like uh, I, we're, oh, we're gonna try we're gonna try we're gonna okay. give it a go hey we're gonna have the finest ham and cheese sandwich you could possibly have okay do you want to see what i bought of course <laughs> oh <laughs> okay like a very big bread yeah okay that's interesting two, two of these things yes, one for you one for me they're quite hard already you know they are quite hard i don't know oh look at that how much bread did you buy oh we got a little roll and then she gave us um for free oh cool nice little pizza beautiful whoa look at that Yeah. Yeah. It's good stuff, hey? Look at that. Yeah, do you want cheese on the other side? That we have one with cheese and one with parma. One with parmesan, one with parma ham. You my love. Lunch is served, hey? Look at that. Wow. <laughs> I mean, guys, you know we were eating bread and cheese for like 550 days or whatever, but I think this is like um, bread and cheese next level. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, that's tasty. The cheese has like crystals in it. It's like, it's like a little bit crunchy. You can taste like the 30 months of aging. Mm. Oh my God. So good. And then for dessert, We've got some of Mama Giulio's cookies. Thank you. Whoa. Grazie. This is like a hazelnut one. Mm. So good. Mm. So good. All right. A beautiful ham and cheese lunch. And now it's time to leave Parma. Oh yes, the detour was worth it. Absolutely it was. What a beautiful, beautiful town. Yeah, really picturesque. And a lot of Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Whoa, look at these streets here. Nice. So many parts of Italy are like, I really think they look like a movie set. Yeah. It really looks like, you know, that these are all actors. This is just like a Hollywood set. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's just too picturesque. Italy is just too picturesque, <laughs> honestly. So now we're going to be making our way further north towards Lago di Garda where we've booked ourselves a place to stay for a couple of days to relax and get some editing done. Yeah, well, I don't think that we have time to relax because we desperately <laughs> have to edit videos. Yeah, we're like really down to the wire. We have just one more video to publish ready. 
and then after that we have nothing so yeah. we really have to get back to editing yeah so 72 miles to Lake Garda I think it's gonna be a beautiful afternoon ride some of these buildings here. Wow. Whoa, Grand Hotel Fisano. Beautiful, huh? Beautiful. Are you sure you didn't book us a room at one of those? <laughs> there it is. Lake Garda. So apparently this is the Gardone Riviera. The Lake Garda Riviera. Lake Garda I know is a very very famous destination for people to go to especially rich people George Clooney must own a house here of course <laughs> always go back to George Clooney <laughs> like George Clooney is just the guy who just lives <laughs> everywhere and has a house everywhere and always sits with his coffee oh look at that there eh? you go the Riviera <laughs> Gardone Riviera amazing I mean it's super super picturesque place look at this and we could just about see in the background there some really really big mountains after this little stopover in Garda we are heading for the mountains wow very very pretty here look at this there's no place in the world more picturesque no. so this is Maderno and our hostel is coming up in under half a mile here it is route 77 oh okay well, it says Resto Pub. Okay. But I think there's the hostel is also here. Yeah, okay. I think so. Let's check it out, eh? Yeah. Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy and alive. But unfortunately, as you can see, our camera is not so happy. For some reason, it decided to take a load of pictures instead of recording video. So instead, here are some lovely shots of the mountains surrounding Lake Garda. Yes, and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.